In this video, we will be installing the ignition switch for the MB, the lever type, part number A6811, and the piece to the wiring harness, part number A5072, which is the ignition to the ammeter to the blackout switch. I'll show you here at the end, you'll see the two ends are joined into one terminal, and you've got two legs that come off of that joint. One is longer and one is shorter. The one we're going to be concerned with first to connect to the switch there is going to be the shorter one of the two. You'll need the length and the longer one to reach the back side of the blackout switch, which we've already installed under the dash. Okay, we'll take our switch here. It's really quite simple. It's just an on-off switch, and it's going to connect inside there and allow electricity to pass through it. And we're going to remove this front little basal, which just unscrews counterclockwise, just as I'm showing you here. And that's going to let us install that onto our dash when the time comes. But first, we'll go ahead and we'll connect the wire. The lobe on the switch is installed onto the dash, so it's facing down like I've got here in my right hand. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that short wire once again to the top terminal, and I think that'll give me the clearance that I need to reach the other side as well as the other connection that needs to go to the bottom side of the switch. I'm just going to go ahead here and remove the screw from the terminal, and I'm seeing in here that it came with just a regular lock washer, and that would be just fine. Uh, you could see those, find those in lots of switches, and it probably wouldn't be a problem, but I've got a little bit better idea for how I'd like to install this as opposed to just using that standard lock washer. The other one there has got a little tang or a tongue on it, and that one looks good too, but this one I'm going to change with an internal star washer. I think that'll give me a little bit better bite, and it'll be a little bit more secure than that lock washer. We'll go ahead here and take our terminals and connect them here with our hand, then we'll take the screw and install it with our internal star washer onto there, and you're just going to kind of snug it up by hand for the time being. I like to keep these wires straight as they come off the back side of the terminal, so I'll snug it up here with my flathead screwdriver, and then I'll give it a little tweak that I'll show you here in a second, and you can give it the final turn to make sure that that is absolutely tight and secure. So it's pretty snug right there, but I'm going to straighten that wire up, and I'm going to hold it tight in my hand, and I'm going to give it that last little turn that's going to really tighten that terminal up to the other terminal, and it's going to be secure and not move. Now the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and install into the dash, and if you notice here on the dash, I'm going to show you the location. You've got this center hole with that little notch kind of the bottom. It's right next to where the throttle and choke cables would come out to the left side of your steering column on the passenger side. And I'll show you the switch here. You've got this little notch. It's exactly where that one needs to go into the dash. And there we go, our basal again that's threaded, and we're going to be able to tighten that up and make that secure onto the dash. We'll reach from underneath the dash here, kind of slip that tongue of the switch there into the hole, and then align that notch right up there in the bottom. That's what's going to keep the switch from spinning out when we attach the threaded basal onto the front. Once I get this all in here, I'll show you. You can click it back and forth and see it just barely moves a little. Now we'll install that threaded basal onto the top there, and that'll really secure it up. At first, you can just spin this on by your hand until you get it pretty snug. It's not going to move either way. I'm going to get myself my favorite pair of channel locks and a piece of rubber strap that I cut from a bungee cord, and I'm going to use that so I don't damage the knurled surface on the outside there of the basal. I'll just take the piece of rubber. I'm going to show you to here. Like I said, it's just a piece of a bungee cord that was bad that I cut, and I'll wrap it around the outside edge, and then I'll use my channel locks to give that that final tighten and secure that against the dashboard, and that's not going anywhere. Now for the time being, I'm going to leave the two leads loose that were underneath there, and we're going to hook those up in various places. One of the ends goes to the ammeter, as you see here on the diagram in the Ron Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts catalog. There's a bunch going on there with that ignition switch, and I kind of want to save that to show you where all of those wires that we're going to do in the very near future connect to. So like I say, for the time being, we're just going to leave those loose underneath the dash. If you want to mark them with a piece of masking tape, that's completely acceptable, uh, but the color-coordinated wires should make it pretty easy for you. If you'd like to subscribe to the Team G503 channel and hit the notification button, you'll get the notifications when we release the next videos. Until next time, my friends, keep it safe and happy jeeping.